What's up with it? It's your boy Skis, baby. And I'm back with another fire reaction. Back with another cash at request, man. I want to shout out my slime, LaQuasia, one time for the one time. Thanks for rocking with me. Always showing love. Always supporting your boy. It is much appreciated, man. Salute. Now, today, y'all already see what's going on, man. We got that boy Tupac in the building, man. Tupac Shakur, the last interview in 1996, man. I'm excited to dive into this. Love Tupac interviews, man. So, I'm excited to check this out. Like, comment, hit the subscribe. But with no further, we write the minutes, man. Tupac, talk to me. Tupac, talk to me. Everybody in this rap world, they talking about his money. Right. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying I'm the richest nigga in the game because Fresh Prince, all these, it's a lot of niggas with money. But I'm saying it's like, it's not the money that I'm bragging about. When people see me with the jewels, it's not that. It's for these, yes, it's for these little niggas to see. You just see me in cuffs, shot up in a wheelchair with my head wrapped up. And you see me less than a fucking year later bailing through this motherfucking jewel down like Saka Zulu. <laughs> Banging up. Chill out, fight. Don't nobody pop that shit like Pac, my boy. Pac said, then you see me with a bandage wrap my head looking crippled in a motherfucking wheelchair. You later, you see me jeweled all the way down like Saka Zulu, nigga. <laughs> Chill out, fight. But I'm saying it's like, it's not the money that I'm bragging about. When people see me with the jewels, it's not that. It's for these, yes, so, it's for these little niggas to see. You just see me in cuffs, shot up in a wheelchair with my head wrapped up. And you see me less than a fucking year later bailing through this motherfucking jewel down like Saka Zulu. Nigga! Banging on niggas. <laughs> I got it banging on niggas. <laughs> hey, somebody get popped. this whole shit shook up. Everybody talking about this West Side shit, right? West Side? Like West, uh, Ice Cube started. I was in jail when Ice Cube was out. No, that wasn't no problem. The day I got out of jail, it was a motherfucking problem to be where the fuck you was from. The day I stepped out, that's power. I want these little niggas to see that. I didn't get that power from guns because there's no guns in jail. I got that power from books and from thinking and by strategizing. That's what I want. Boy. Boy, I ain't get that shit from guns, nigga, because ain't no guns in jail. I got that shit from books and thinking, using my fucking brain and strategizing. Boy, what? Drop that knowledge on the boys, pop, nigga. Gun don't make you tough, what? In jail, I got that power from books and from thinking and by strategizing. That's what I want little niggas to see. And that, just for a year, niggas think, you know, you've been in the game so long, but it took all that shit didn't matter because the rape, or it, it veto all that. As soon as they charge you with rape, even if you ain't do it, it veto your career. I started from scratch with Death Row, a new company. Not in, I was independent when I was Tupac. Me against the world, I just bought my old managers out. I had it all now. I resigned to, to be a part of this uh -huh. for my own for this to make my own shit bigger. And now I got Machiavelli Records. And Machiavelli is the first artist on that. And then One Nation is the second artist on that. And then um, uh, I'm I, I'm signing um, Greg Nice and Smooth. Machiavelli was a rapper. To either me or I thought that was the name of his album. Quest. I got another group at Quest, Ghetto Stars. That's like an offshoot of the Outlaws. You know what I mean? I got New Jersey as part of the West Side now. You know what I mean? We just like just like war. We put our flag in Jersey. We ain't taking over Jersey. It's still East Coast. But it's just the West Side. There's there's now a West Side to New Jersey. Because West Side is not part of the map. I'm not no dumbass motherfucking I don't bang for the color or the or the or the land. I bang for the principles and for the honor. I'm banging for the West Side. This is in my heart. This 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 is how I feel, not West Side. California, right, this is right, where I'm right. from. It's, it's, it's basic like that, but it's really deep, like West Side, you know what I mean? When I be throwing at the W, it ain't for California. I love California, but the W is for just the East Side, it's the West Side, it's the Middle uh, middle America, and we divide it. And that's why I throw this up. We at war right now, W for war, you understand? And when we all get together, when the East Coast and the West Coast and the Middle America get together, we got power. Right, right. And that's when I won't throw it up no more, when we all together. They only see me doing like this. And that's when we closer to arm again. But we ain't there. We still all separate in tribes. So I know what tribe I'm I wish I seen the video though so I could see how he threw it up. But he's all right. What was the difference between the throw up? Closer to arm again. But we ain't there. We still all separate in tribes. So I know what tribe I'm in. I'm in the west side. There's no way. I'm a soldier. I always be true to those being true, been true to me. And New York shouldn't be tripping. They should be loving this, because they the ones that gave me the game to do this. In addition to this, because it's West Coast rappers too that don't do that. Right. What made me raw is that I'm West, I got both. I'm the future of, Amer of black America. 
when we when we when we manifest the best of the West Side and the best of the East Side, and we bring that together, you know what I mean? When East Coast G's have sex with West Coast G's, G, these G's being women, and they have kids, that's gonna be the, the, the new breed. You know what I mean? When you start breeding this culture with this gangbang shit, right. that's the new breed. That like United Ghetto. Right, right. To get out. But right now we stuck, and the only thing we can do is start living by. I know you talked to the Teray article where mm -hmm. he said that this was not just you. You weren't a recording artist. You were like a, you know what I'm saying, theatrical type shit. You he know said what I saying? was acting. Yeah. This is what I don't like uh -huh. is that my mother told me that when Malcolm was alive, writers used to do shit like that. Right, right. And then when he died, that same nigga will be talking about he interviewed me. He'll be writing a book about right, my right, life. Right, and right, right, it'll right. be the whole thing. Right. And I just don't like that. Right. Support me. Yeah, that shit lame. Either you support me or get out of my dick, you feel me? Don't be... Don't be just trying to fit in, you feel me? Take whatever um, take whatever angle you're trying to take about my life and just get the hee-hees and ha-has, and then when I die, capitalize on this one, then, then, oh, it's cool to say Tupac is acting, capitalize on that. Oh, it's cool to support Tupac and say that, capitalize. Like, come on, man, don't jump dick to dick. If you're going to support me, rock with me. If not... Scram. You don't understand right. me? Don't write about me. I don't ask black niggas to jock me. I'm just saying, be <laughs> honest. You uh -huh. know, I'm you doing something I can't do, and I'm doing something you can't do. I respect you, respect me. Right. You right. know there's no nigga out here like this. Uh -huh. I don't have no insecurity about that, and no, no delusions. Ain't no nigga like Tupac putting it down. My weaknesses and my strengths. But everybody know my strengths definitely outweigh my weaknesses. Right. As long as that, I'm a human being like everybody else and, I, and if I meet somebody perfect then they can train me right. and they can help me be perfect but there ain't nobody out there perfect so we'll all just get along with each other that's how I feel you know what I mean I felt like that was wrong for them to do that because that's something I'm, like I always was raised like there's certain times when you don't fuck with a nigga when he's down you don't kick a nigga right. that's right. what I thought you know what I mean and all this, this this really taught me about like this black people thing I don't believe, I, I'm black, I believe in my people, but I believe in my people as it relates to my tribe. I don't believe in us overall, just imaginary niggas. Black people attack me. Hey. I mean... Hey, Tupac speaking facts on this fucker. Just because you black don't mean I just automatically rock with you, you feel me? Y'all motherfuckers be trying to harm me too. Like, motherfuckers is more divided than we are united around this fucker. Like, it should be automatic love when you see another black person out. But sometimes it just be unnecessary tension. You know what I'm saying? Like, for no reason. So, he's speaking facts. Not all black people. That's why it's not a, it's not a general thing. Like, I don't like black people no more. It's not that. I love <laughs> black people. I love my people. I am black. But I'm saying, I don't look at it as general. Right. Now, it's, I'm not racist anymore. I kill myself for racism. Right, right. You know what I mean? Somebody be mad. Like, I'm with somewhere. Somebody seen with a white girl. Pop! can't believe it, but it's not to me it's like I'm a totally new human being before I was like that and I was bitter and I and that's why I was so evil towards black sisters when I went to jail because I felt like I didn't sleep I didn't fuck with them bitches to be down for y'all <laughs> and y'all put me in jail all right well cool but now I was wrong I ain't fuck with them bitches to be down with y'all. Now y'all gonna put me in jail? Boy, the audacity. I don't have that kind of thought. Because right. all black women don't owe me shit. Right. And I don't owe them shit. You know what I mean? But to represent. You know what I mean? But to be me. You know what I mean? Procreate, have better seeds, make a better nation. I possess his soul, his and puppy. They know that I was the truest nigga involved with Biggie's success. I was the biggest help. I was the truest nigga. I don't write his rhymes, but he know how much he borrowed from me. He know how I used to stop my shows and let him touch the show. Let him blow up and do his whole show in the middle of my show. How I used to buy him shit and give him shit and never ask for it back. How I used to share. How I used to share my experiences in the game and my lessons and my rules and my knowledge on the game with him. Showing too much love get you killed, man. I don't know what movie I seen that on, but that should be a fact right here. You can't show too much love, bro. You know what I mean? He owed me. Motherfuckers start taking that shit for granted and then the next day you know y'all enemies and shit. Like, I don't know where they went wrong at, Tupac and Biggie, but to be that close and that cool and love each other that much to go to hating each other and... More. He owed me more than to turn his head and act like he didn't know niggas was about to blow my fucking head off. He knew. That's what I'm talking about. And I wonder if he really did, if he genuinely knew. Like, just from the outside looking in, I would feel like you do. Like, if I go to a Tupac studio session and I get shot 
in a Tupac studio session by West Coast motherfuckers. I would assume Tupac knows something about that. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa. Like, no matter where I'm at, if I'm at a motherfucking Kanye West studio and something happened to me, I'm going to expect Kanye to know something. Like, you know who did it, how they did it, why they did it. You know something, motherfucker. Don't tell me you don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. This your city. This your shit. How you not know nothing? And then, if that's cool, if he disappeared, be, be a fucking mouse. Be a mouse. If you are a mouse, be a mouse. But for me to know, like, three weeks ago this happened, and then three weeks later your album's coming out, and you are fucking done in your album. But you don't know who shot me in your fucking hometown? This nigga's from your neighborhood? And I gotta find yeah. out by myself, and, I'm, and I don't even call myself a dime, just a capo. From the west side, and I'm on the east side in jail, and I know who touched me, and I know everything that happened. That's power. And he didn't know, so he was faking. And I was mad about that. And then I'm out of jail, and I couldn't believe that everybody was treating Biggie like the biggest fucking star in the world. Right. I couldn't believe that people was buying into the player image. And I just wanted, I wanted to bring back that reality. You know what I mean? Just like, I can't never, I can't never, nobody can never be confused and think I'm fucking Mike Tyson, and I'm a heavyweight champion. I'm right. a little nigga, that's why it's so raw to watch me just battle lions, because I'm a little skinny nigga battling niggas three times my size. But Biggie's not a player. He's never been. He's never had bitches until he got some fucking money. That's a trick. That's not a player. It's not a pop up. <laughs> so my point was to prove him wrong. I took everything that he glamorized and I personified it. Right, right. He, he, he glamorized Versace. Versace, I didn't call Versace. Versace oh, called God. me to come to his show and gave me a gang of free clothes and act, please wear my shit. Please do some shit for me. Let me. Can you wear my shit? You are the image of Versace. I swear to God, you are. That body, that's Versace. I swear to God, Armani. You are so handsome. You are, please, let me, you know what I mean? From him, Dolce Gabbana, man, I ain't rapping at they show. Um, Valentino giving me suits, gangster suits. Everything he glamorized, I personify. Everything he wanna have, I got. I ain't know the designers and shit showed him that much love. Jewelry, look, come on, man. I got more jewels than Slick Rick. Slick Rick, love the nigga to fucking death, but I'm definitely doing it. Yeah. I so, personify every image that niggas fake. Right, right. I personify. I really bring it to him because I'm. I, I looked up to these niggas. Right. So everything they talking about, I really got into it, studied it, and tried to perfect it. Right, right. So I know if you pretend it, and I know it. The same thing they love about me, they gotta admire and you know, but they forgot. Vicky forgot that same shit that made him wanna kick it with me is the same shit that's whooping his ass right now. Right, right, right. And that's why when he talks, you can hear it in his interviews. He wanna say, I wish I could take this shit back, but he can't. He, he already committed himself to lying. Uh -huh. So now the only thing he can do is act like he don't know what the fuck is going on. And listen to it. Think, people have to think. If some if your best, if this was happening for real, is this would this be your reaction? Right. Unless you was guilty. And all that shit about my homeboys telling me, you know, don't sweat that, you know. He dissing yeah, me for yeah. all my friends telling me not to. Oh, so you, you're a follower now. No, that's your so you a follower now? Why didn't your homeboys tell you not to make rhymes when you shooting pregnant babies in the, in the stomach? You know what I mean? That's why niggas was like, why'd you say that at the end of your record? You was like, oh, they kids won't grow up, boom, boom. Honestly, I didn't write none of that shit down. I didn't write nothing. I'm just blowing up on the studio to keep me from really killing these niggas. Right, right. And that's what came out. But I don't have no mercy in war. They didn't have no mercy. They kids, right. they, sh they tried to shoot my fucking balls off. What about my kids? <laughs> they was like, why you talking about him being the um, sickle cell? They tried to make me a paraplegic. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> why is that sacred? You know? Bro, what the fuck is wrong with pot? <laughs> You know what I mean? That's not sacred in war. I, I was in Rikers giving these niggas love, Mob D. The guard knew him. I was like, tell them niggas I love them niggas. To tell my shorty, yo, them niggas is down, man. When they did that, they proved that they was really just little niggas. Just little niggas that want to be heard. I'm a, I'm, I used to be a little nigga. I know where they at. I know they can't touch me. That's why I can destroy them so fast. Soon, nobody will be, they, they not going to believe this shit. I said it in the beginning that I was going to take these niggas out the game, and sure enough, I will. Already, people can't look at Biggie and not laugh. No. You, you I heard, took every piece of his power. You heard that shit. All I want to do is take them to where I was when they didn't want to support me. And I, there will be no support. And anybody that try to help them, I will destroy. Whether it's whoever it is, I will destroy. And that's what I'm doing. Everybody that try to side with him or do a record with him or try to unify with him, I'm going to destroy. I swear to God. Can't nobody touch me right now. 
Maybe next month all of this will be over. But this month, I'm taking every moving target out. Because this is a very personal thing for me. And I feel like people should have gave me my respect. Y'all know <laughs> I was not like this before. Right, right. I did not attack people. I, I was not on no East Coast, West Coast. Right. I was the major bridge between the East Coast and the West Coast. Niggas came, call me. I'll get you whatever you want. Right, right. So this is very serious. It's like if America sent an ambassador to Iran and he get murdered. Iran got problems and Iran should know that. Right. And that's what I feel about New York. They should know that. Separate yourself from this nigga. And that's what's going to show. And they already do it. I got niggas in jail. I got niggas out there. But it's like the media is pumping it like East Coast, West Coast. Right, right. So some of these niggas that's old and whose careers is through, you know what I mean? Like De La Soul, they can come out and talk that um, Renaissance shit and try to clean up hip hop. See, I'm all for positivity. I'm all for change. But I'm not for niggas masquerading. Right, right. You haven't sold no records, your shit ain't popping, don't come in here and start criticizing as your comeback. That's right, wrong. Right, right. I'm trying to get some clout. Y'all, you know how hard it is. You know how you felt when you didn't have no money and no record deal. Why are you gonna try to destroy another nigga career? Don't do that. Represent by example. And if you truly had a better lifestyle, then people will, you get five million sales. I'm not saying my lifestyle is the best. I'm saying this is the lifestyle most lived by the most motherfuckers out there. Or a variation of. No matter where you are. I'm not just, I'm not no gang, like on some killer nigga shit. I'm on some survival shit. Whether you a girl and you got three kids, you trying to go to school and work and make it. That's Tupac. I came from a crack mama, high school dropout, look at me now. Every time they throw an obstacle in front of me, I face it, let everybody know how it feels while I'm going through it and then hurdle it and let everybody see it. Every time it's coming in front of me, I have an interview, it's kind of everything that happened, do it and overcome it. Talk to me a little about like the process of like dealing with jail and shit. Like what the first part was the, the what first it made me humble. Uh -huh. Not because niggas was scared. People took that vibe and it was so wrong. I was not in no danger. It wasn't like niggas were screaming, I'm gonna kill you. I was walking around in fucking $200 sweatsuits in Rikers Island. You know what I mean? Living. <laughs> Eating good, living good. Niggas was giving me love. Niggas sending me shit. Latin Kings giving me shit. Everybody giving me shit. Like you represent, we got love for you. Uh -huh. It was love. It was out of that love that I was like, yo, thug life is dead. I was like, while I'm in jail, this is going to jail with me. Uh -huh. Nobody has the power. Nobody is like me to be able to represent this while I'm locked down. I thought I was going away for years. I couldn't let nobody represent that. And, have all, and I was seeing how many soldiers I had by coming to jail. I was like, oh no, this shit is, I gotta stop it. I gotta rethink it, because I didn't plan thug life. I just said it, it was how I felt. I said it and I lived it. Now I gotta take my life, see what I live, what I represent, and I gotta dictate what this is, and then let niggas be a part of this. Right. So that's why I killed it, and murdered it, and choked it. And all them niggas that was rapping with me, I murdered and choked their career as far as being with me. Because right. if it was a thug life, it would've been some, you know, shit would've happened different. I wouldn't have got shot like that. So, this thug life got destroyed. I came back out with my shit. And even then, I still had niggas on my team that I shouldn't have had on my team. I should've started all new with family. Now everybody on my team is family. Right. So why are you why are you in jail? Like, what 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 was the turnover? Where where did it turn from being like you know? Just from niggas talking to me like, like parents in jail. Niggas in jail time. talking to me like you know like seeing thinking that they was like so surprised that I could be in jail like not knowing like that everybody goes to jail. This shit is like the same thing that make you want to buy my shit is what made me in jail. You understand? Right. Like niggas like oh, man. you got to that shit was real, boy. I'm speaking that real shit. I'm living this shit right now. So it was. Shit, motherfucker had to go to jail eventually. Every real nigga do. Got to. If you keeping it real 100% of the time, your ass going to jail. Or die, jail, death, death or jail. Pick one. Maybe both. You know. Chance of woo-woo, but I was like, I understand what they saying. They was like, they in a the dope game, and they taking every chance to make it. I'm in a rap game, and I'm not taking the chances that I need to be here. I'm just acting like I could come back tomorrow. And that's what I thought. I thought because I was raw, that I, I thought because I had talent in my heart. I wasn't, I never thought I was necessarily the best rapper, the best nuts, and I think I'm the, the realest nigga out there. I do think that. I think I own that. And that's a fact, man. Like, when I be arguing the Pac versus other rappers and Pac is the GOAT, that's my argument right there. Like, I don't feel like he was the best rapper. Shit, he don't even feel like he was the best rapper. But the most influential and the most realest rapper, for shit show, for shit show, for shit show. Most influential rapper ever, realest rapper ever. That, that I could get behind.
best rapper ever. I can't get behind that. If it, you know what I'm saying? I will do respect, but even he, even he admitted that. But as far as realest motherfucker out, most influential motherfucker out, Tupac by far, by far. If I can patent being real, I think I own that. Because I think being real is just being true. I'm the nigga that'll wear a suit when everybody else got on khaki. You know what I mean? I'll be bald headed when everybody wear braids. I wear braids when they all bald headed. You know what I mean? It's like, man, it's like, it's just being real. Just, I don't have no insecurity. I do, but I be, I, I, I take my insecurities and show everybody. Right. You know, like my mom and my life, my, me being little, I just be harder. You know what I mean? Be fearless. And whatever happens, happens. And that's what makes, that's why I take these niggas hard. This nigga Biggie is three times bigger than me and everybody's sympathizing with him. Uh. They acting like I'm bullying him. This nigga three. Bully the bully. Three times bigger than me and I'm asking this nigga to have a fight. I never trust the TV to get my point across. And I feel like, Yo, I feel like we need our confidence, self-esteem. And that's what I got in that. My confidence and my self-esteem. People might be like, this nigga conceited or whatever, but I fuck it. I feel like I shine. And I don't give a fuck how much white people, the media, niggas, black people, player haters, police, whoever, try to darken my shine, I'm gonna always shine through. They can lie by my words, they always gonna ring true. Right, right. You know what I mean? Because it's my essence. It's in my essence. And that's what's gonna always come to. And I, I feel like that's true about me. Like now people be like, he's blasphemy. He's saying black things as, as blasphemy. Or he's acting like he's elitist. He's like the Muslims. Or he's like a five percenter. It's nothing like that. It's only to get out. I feel like the, the, our future is our confidence and self-esteem. All this rape and gang banging and killing and 30 niggas fucking one girl. They all come from a low self-esteem and no confidence. As soon as we get out, because I don't think like... <laughs> Boy, I would never. Boy, 30 niggas. <laughs> 30 nigga lanes, but... I ain't no way, buy a dirty ass little boy. Like, I don't think, let me fuck 30 bitches. I don't even think like I want to be in a room when other niggas is fucking a bitch, right, man. Right. I don't think like that no more. And not because of jail. But because of my confidence is there, my self-esteem, my self-respect. You know, I don't need, need that. Uh -huh. But in the ghetto, that's the type of shit that we're taught. It's like in the army, you taught to kill, so you kill. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. We taught that. My older niggas, we taught that. That the only thing we good for is our sexuality. Now I use that to make money, but I enforce my strength, my mind strength. That's what's more important to me now. The niggas see that there's not no accident. I plotted every single step from this to this. Right. You know what I mean? Everything is plotted. The still that you, that the next shit is called Illuminati, because that's, that's really what the Illuminati's on. That's why I put the K to it. Right. I wanted, the niggas is telling me about this Illuminati shit while I'm in jail, right? Like, the dollars, right, 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 right. That's another way to keep your self-esteem low. That's, that's another shit. way yeah. to keep you unconfident. Right. And I'm putting the K because I'm killing that Illuminati shit. Uh -huh. Trust me, if these motherfuckers wanted to kill you, why the fuck they gonna tell Farrakhan? Why they gonna tell the Nation of Islam? Why they gonna tell this nigga in jail about the plan? How did he know? Right, 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 right. <laughs> How did it leak to him? Who told him? <laughs> Who told him? The Pope? Ooh, cause they like the Pope and the money. Oh, come on, man, get the fuck out of here. You so thinking about the money, you not getting the motherfucking right, right, money. Right, get the money, right, nigga, I don't give a fuck who face on there. As long as with my face point, put, put that money right, out, right, they right, accept right. it. And they do, believe me, I tried it. <laughs> I tried to see if it was like a white thing. Everywhere I go with money, they let me in. Everywhere <laughs> I go with none, they don't let you in. <laughs> Trust me. That's all it is. It's all, Bro, I'm funny as fuck. all about money. When you got money, you got power. If we unify and keep people, I, I guarantee if people keep um, supporting me, just buying my records, just going to my concerts, just supporting me, I'm going to keep giving money. I'm going to keep, get, like Machiavelli, every time I go platinum, I'm putting money up for community centers. And that ain't even going to be out That's there. Right, you ain't got to even I'm say that. I'm just doing it. Right. Every time it go platinum, somebody's going to get a big check. Uh -huh. That's real. Not for the, not for the, not for nothing, but just for like I really do love motherfuckers for giving me this power. Right, right. It's, it's within me, but it's like being elected. You know what I mean? I feel like an elected official. Right. That's why I can't just, just be out. You just you surf the the position you got. You went through each of that. Sh you know, like I went through all the channels. Yeah. I paid my dues. I bought my agenda. Right. You know what I mean? And people voted for me. Between you and Biggie, it was like who's gonna who's gonna. Who rules the, the the nigga kingdom and shit? Basically, you know what I'm saying? I was like, this is like a fucking it is election. That. It's an election. It is and that. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Me and Biggie's situation is smaller than that. Me and Biggie's situation is like some mob shit. Like yeah. they're the boss. Right, when right, I was right. in jail, bad boy Puffy was the crown fucking Don. Even though Suge as big as he was and Snoop, right, right. at that point they they just with two million sales, it, they they took the whole shit yeah. because Suge had. Snoop to worry about with the trial. He couldn't right, be right. out there. That's what you're supposed to do. Right, 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 right. 
into Tupac, a young cat. I want to join the family, dog. Get me out. I want to join the family. Got me out. Woo. I'm out, I'm in the family, we make out, we did, we went through some sacred shit, me and this nigga. Uh -huh. Me and this nigga shit. We was, every day I did my album, we was there every day. Uh -huh. Every night we stayed up, we tossed it up together, we went out, we went to Mexico together, went to Hawaii together, we went everywhere. You know what I mean? And thought about it. And um, to me it's like, it's, it's, it's like that cop, that, that, that gangster shit, not like, to glorify him, but it's the it's politics like a, of it. Right, right, like the, the politics. Like, God politics. The only like. way for me to, to come back is to, there's no two-man spot. It's only one spot over like what you call nigga kingdom. It's really like, it's, it's more stronger than that. It's, it's like once you get, once I hit you up with the words, you'll never think that again. It is the nigga kingdom on a basic level. But deeper than that, it's the, it's the power of black people. This is where our power lies. Yeah, that's what as I'm far thinking. as fashion, it's yeah. the young niggas. As far as the words, slang, the movies, what's hot, it's the young niggas. Yeah, right. We control that. Not alone, but we, we like the main nigga. Right. You know what I mean? And he was that main nigga, and everybody tried to be like him. And everybody, nobody was successful unless they came from his camp, right, right. or they was down with him. Right, right. And that's how my shit is. Now that I'm the boss, and if I'm not, and, and if I'm not a good person, then it won't last long. Somebody will be able to overthrow me. Right, right. But I feel like my, flaws and, and my shit, yeah, right. Yeah. But I feel like, only way for that to happen is for a great a fan of me to do that. Right. A, a fan of me. You know what I mean? Because I'm a, I was a fan of KRS-One. Right, right, LL, right, 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 right. All them right, niggas right, right. rocking. That's why even if they came out dissing me, I could destroy them. I've mastered their styles. They could keep writing new shit, but I've mastered their styles. Like the Five Deadly Venoms. Right, right. They had the Five Deadly Venoms, right? And the teacher made one more nigga that knew all their styles. So all he had to do was get next to a nigga like that and he could destroy it. All I need is a nigga from New York, get on track with him. I had the dopest East Coast shit in the fucking world. I mastered that shit. Cause East Coast niggas love real shit, like West Coast niggas love real shit. Mastered that. All I gotta do is get more, get deep into the drums, you know what I mean? And get deep into the science of the five boroughs, cause that's what that is. But when you get into the science of the five boroughs, that's so small. I hate going to there, I hate going there. And I, I don't think that New York should let me go there. I could give you a group that could go there. I'll rap on their shit. Let them go there. But the five boroughs is not how we going to take over a nation. Right. How we going to have a nation. And that's what I feel. I know the five boroughs inside and I know the signs. I know everything. The history. I didn't know the five boroughs was that close till I went to New York. Like one minute you in fucking Harlem. Next minute you in Brooklyn. Next minute like Queens. Like ah damn. That shit close as hell. Everything. You know what I mean? But I know the world history too. And that shit is small. It's, it's right. dope. It's like. It's like a cool ass hometown, but you gotta grow. Right. And that's what it's about. That, it's the fact is, most of the motherfuckers living, living the West Side, or you know what I'm saying, living that life. This is the, that's the big, that's the majority, right. and it's just like that. That's More what this is. It's like ninety percent. Ninety percent, and this is ten percent. That's why I, could, I, I knew this. I knew this. I knew this when I moved from New York. Right. That was my first lesson was to know. That I can't keep swimming. I'm from New York. I'm from right, New York. Right, 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 right. That's that's the you can't do that. You learned that lesson quick. I learned it not, quick because New York is where everybody come to. There is no New York. Niggas from New York is from the West Side and from down south. They all migrated right, to New right, York, right, had right, kids, right, and that's right, what happened. Right, right, right. That's why New York has the most style because it's it's like a gumbo pot of all these different niggas, like right. southern niggas with shoes and right, right, niggas, right. you know what I mean. You, that's where the style come from. But. It's a little thing, and Biggie was the don of that. Now I, just, I took over his kingdom, not took it over, but it's still niggas in New York bumping my shit. Ain't like my record ain't selling in New York. And without New York, I outsold it. You know what I mean? It's like a politician's race. If I lost New York, I won the other 49 states, and that makes me in control. Now I'm the new president for the next four years. Right. Crucial conflict could go five times platinum, but nobody's gonna let them sign no bills. Right. You know what I mean? They can't right. make no hip hop laws. Right. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like how we did it. Uh, how we make it. Like how I plan to make it. I plan to make it with Crucial Kali. Niggas don't have to dress in Versace. But you don't have to dress in khakis neither. Right, right. My niggas, some of them niggas dress, right, you know what I mean? Thugged out, some dress khakied out, and some dress like me. I'm 25, so I can't be khakied out. That was any nigga you see out there khakied out, as old as he is, like, you know what I mean? I don't care if you put it out there or not, but I, I just don't like, like, I, I dig Ice Cube, I looked up to him. But because I looked up to him and I studied his style, mastered his shit, I know what he's doing is wrong. He's shit ain't selling, so now he's going on the war shit, right, and right. he's using us right. as the gas. He just dropped some shit called... 
1996. Ice Cube was wildin' at this point in 1996. He was wildin'. Badass. And if you listen to it, you can see he heard hit him up and was like, oh, that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, why he wasn't ba making him bad out when I was in jail? That's what I mean. That's wrong. Right. See, now that's wrong. <laughs> and I'm not gonna let that happen because then that would make me obsolete. If I let him come back and take, you can't have this. You know what I mean? I'm not doing that. And De La Soul and all these niggas, I won't let them do that. Like Melly Mel and them, them true pioneers. They diss me, if they diss me, I would've dissed them. But they came to the studio, every time I see them niggas, I, I, I bow down respectfully, not bow down to them as men or right, as performers, right. but as elders. Like, that's like if you see any old mob nigga coming. You know what I mean? Get that nigga a table that. before you give me a table. Right, right, let him right, in right. before you let me in, because I do know I'm the Don now. Uh -huh. But I know if I'm not the Don, I want that respect because that to be the Don at one point means you had to have something. Right. And for him to write the message and all that shit, it did inspire me. It did do something for me. He got a pass. Right. Unless he crossed me. And he hasn't. So we trying to get him a deal. He about to get a deal just using my name. And I got free and got rich just using his name and using his records. Right, 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 right. I did the same thing to Nas, homie. I swear to God, I seen this nigga Nas at the House of Blues. I caught him out of pocket and everything. I was deep with my niggas. I know he didn't have no guns. We could have rushed him right there. I was like, what's up, yo? I said, yo, this East Coast, West Coast shit, it's not about you. Don't get caught up in I swear to God, we love you. We got love for you. And I saw Wu-Tang, I saw Method Man, and like a couple months earlier, they, one of their niggas had got, um, he was in, a, in, in our club, 662, and somebody snatched his chain, you know, put hands on him. We got the chain back and found the niggas that did it. That's love. And I went to Method Man like, yo, we handled that, man, shit, want to talk to you. That was never our orders, no, that wasn't supposed to go down. We got the niggas that did it, we got the shit. Whenever, that's just me. You know what I mean? That's how we are. That's love right there. That's love and respect. Man. This nigga Nas went back home and started talking that fake thug and dropping little Jews and his shit. And that's wrong. Because you should have said that to me when I was right there. He knew his album said all this shit. And the nigga was like, don't do that. That means you're a punk. You know what I mean? That's crazy as hell to show love in person and then you hear a motherfucking album and he sneak dissing and shit. That should have run a motherfucking hot. Like, even if you did, once I greet you with love and you see it's love and respect, if you did put that on the album, take that shit off. You feel me? Take that shit off. What I mean, I won't. Or if you standing on that shit, stand on it when I'm in front of you, man. I don't. Wait till you get safe across the bridge over there. Fucking nigga I don't like. See, That's man. why I'm telling you now, when I see Big, it's not gonna be like we're gonna attack him every time. Right. I might be in a good mood, and I might not wanna be going, this shit is so minor. This is not about me and Biggie. Everybody keep talking about it. Y'all making this nigga bigger than he is. All right. Do you hear me fucking talking about, this is about, a, this is a major plan, a major strategy. That was the impetus, or the starter, or the generator that kicked it off. They happen to be the, 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 the regime before me. Just like Republicans hate Carter or whatever. Now the Republicans is like, we can't wait for Bush to come back. You know? Right, right. Just like now I'm in power. They, everybody that, that love Biggie, they all like, I can't wait for Biggie to come back. Or somebody like that. Or, or Nas. Nah, that's why they root for them. They rooting for they, for they, right. they, they, they people. And, and when I was right. gone, that's why all my niggas was like, we can't wait for them to come. And that's why they rushed the polls. They wanted a new regime. And my regime includes the East Coast. It includes the West Coast. It, it brings money. It's economics. You know what I mean? I study this shit. Yeah, I bring money to New York by signing groups, by Death Row East. That's bringing money, economics, that's sales. I'm bringing the bridge through this motherfucker. I want to start an athletic team where all the rappers sponsor a team. Right, right. You know what I mean? I'm bringing the community, the community involved. I'm giving money back to the community. We got Mother's Day, Thanksgiving, and Christmas so far. Death Row. We've been doing that every. We're gonna do it every year. Clothing, feeding. That's. Come on, that's the welfare right there. Uh, we are the best choice for this fucking to the millennium. That's some hell shit, man. I'm telling you. Bro. And I'm the only one in it like that. This nigga Biggie still talking about fucking Godfather. That's why I said to Niles when I dissed him in my record, you watch too many fucking movies. Right. <laughs> no, who's gonna fucking follow you? These niggas talking about Al Pacino. They getting their Italians mixed up. Right, right. They like Al Pacino, Luciano. Uh, that show you what type of niggas you dealing with. Only thing they like is the sound of an Italian nigga's name. The Italians I speak about, we're really truly great men. And I find any great man, black or white, I'm gonna study him, learn it, so he can't be great to me no more. Like Machiavelli. Like, like Machiavelli. And that's why I don't say, my name's not Machiavelli, my name right. is Machiavelli. I took it. Right. That's mine. 
She gave me that. You know what I mean? I took that. Just like, and I don't feel no guilt. Oh, right, that motherfucker, all these motherfuckers stole from us forever. I'm taking back what's mine. Right. It's just that they recorded it when he said it. Right. It's probably something he took from us that they didn't let us record. Right, right, right. So there's no shame. You know what I mean? Like Otis Redding. Yeah. The Rolling Stones. No doubt. No right. doubt. And I feel like I'm not on like people bashing like they are like on some. Why is niggas into this Italian mall? It's not about Italians to me, but I'm about studying people. I study the CIA, America. I hate America as as for what we did, but I love us for being strong. You got to do that. So what? We don't got a good image. We're the strongest motherfucking nation. I, that's me. That's me right fucking there. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck if y'all don't like me. I got the bomb. Can't nobody touch me. Won't nobody rush me. Something we doing right. <laughs> That's that capitalism shit. Yeah. Cause you can feed your kids with that thought. All that other shit, you can't feed your kids with that. You can't feed your kids, you can't have a nation. So that's what's more important now, to me, is to take the um, the discipline, the seriousness, and the bond that the mob has, to take the um, enthusiasm, the morals, the principles that the Black Panthers had, and the strength that the Black Panthers had, to take the camaraderie, and the, um, go all out, we'll die for you, um, all of us as a team that the police have to take um, the nation is first attitude, whatever we got to do to be number one that United States take and I'm, that's what makes me unstoppable and take that nigga attitude that, that makes me look at all of that shit study it and learn it, take the, the young African American to have the talent to exhibit it you know what I mean, and take the businessman take the president, to take the philosopher to be able to break it down into an actual philosophy right, right. and that's what Columinati is but it's up to you to bring it to the people or else we're going to have an East Coast, West Coast war because I'm not bowing down I'm not going to say, you know, everything I did was righteous by the rules of war, you know what I mean and they got to recognize that but it's, it's really like right now, it's not New York, because New York got love. It's the writers, the radio people are using this as some way. They don't know what to talk about. Down. Right. Yeah. So that's what it's, and it's... Just like you sat down and thought about that nigga, them shit, you can sit down and think how they... You can, you can make people see it as yeah. clear as it is. Just like you, we on the same level. You, you look at things and then you figure out how it's like a big plan to it. You know, it got to be a big plan if this shit is happening. Like right. you were saying about me and Biggie being like politicians. That's how I looked at it. Like, wait yeah. a minute, this shit is... I look at the rap game, like how it is. Like, right. every couple months, a whole new, right. gen it's a whole new genre. Yeah. They'll say, like, they got a whole bunch of writers talking about gangster rap is dead. Those are the ones that don't like gangster right. rap. Right. That's like the writers that right. don't so like they, Republicans. So they do, so they they do that they, thing. They, they spin. You know what I mean? And then there's other ones that are like... Tupac dropped the best, you know. Well, those are the ones that love it. Those are the radio people that love it. Right. You know what I mean? And our job basically is not to. I'm not. I don't want to see them dead because by the other side being who the other side is, that makes me the best man. You know what you I know thought what when I was in jail? What, what fucked me up? What turned me like this? Is I was like, no politicians is even getting at us, even right, though I right, represent right. five million right, fucking right, sales, right, right, and right, no right, politicians right. even checking for it. They're not even sending us nothing. Try to make us. They're not even thinking of. And in business, you know, if you want to fuck with somebody, you, right, you know, right. you try to. They're not even looking at us like that. That means we ain't a threat. Right. Exactly. But by the next election, I promise. By the next election, I promise. I'm gonna be sitting across from all the candidates. I bet you. You know how I be making it. I promise you. I'm not even gonna be, I'm gonna be so far from where I am now in four years. God willing, I'm alive. It's on, I guarantee you, we will, we will have our own political party. And it won't be just for black people. It's gonna be for Mexicans, it's gonna be for Mexicans, it's gonna be for black people, it's gonna be for Armenians, I don't give a fuck, all you. Motherfucker was thinking like that, they had to get him out of here. He was thinking too complex, man. We lost tribe motherfuckers right now. We need to have our own political party because we all have the same motherfucking problem built this nation and we get none of the benefits. I already had famous record hit. I'm in this shit for the honor and the respect. That's why this shit feels so good. good. Yeah, it's for the balance, but to be a family, to be known as something, for, to get this, 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 this dark cloud off of us as a race. I want to just, some kind of sunshine, some kind of exceptional deed. So we can all stop sucking Malcolm X and Michael Jordan right, dick. Right, right. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> we don't never have to be shit because we got Jordan and Malcolm X. Right. I'm not with that. That shit was tough, man. Tupac always be speaking that facts, man. Who nobody pop that shit like Pac, man? I appreciate your question for the request, man. Tupac Shakur, last interview, man. Like, comment, hit that subscribe button, and I'm about this fucker.